Okay. All right, so do you want me to do roll call when I start the meeting? Please. Okay. All right, we're going to call the planning and zoning meeting of uh, May 12th, 2020 to order. Do we have, um, have everybody say here when I call your name, if you're here. Steve. Here. Michelle. Here. Oh, okay. Matt. Here. Adam. Here. Jeff. Brett. Here. Tom. And Ron. Here. Okay, so Tom and Jeff are the only two missing. Okay, do we have any announcements, Christy? Um, let's see. Soft opening for City Hall was yesterday. Uh, they're doing everything except for passports. Oh, it looks like Jeff is logging in. That's great. Um, so the NDSC building, Tampa Development Services Center on 12th Avenue, where the planning and zoning department is now located, will have its opening on the 18th, so next Monday. <clears throat> so if you guys want to down and wave at us you're more than welcome to come and see our new digs um what else uh, june 1st is a city council meeting and they will be meeting having holding their public hearings as usual in this space so month of june be prepared to be back here for our meetings so we're looking forward to that okay um Oh, oh no, hold on. I gotta plug this computer and I didn't realize it was unplugged. <laughs> All right, we're good. For some reason it is not letting Jeff into the meeting. <laughs> Other than that, I don't know that I have any other announcements. It's not letting Jeff in. Is there anybody that hasn't gotten paid? I know one person mentioned that hasn't gotten paid. Michelle. Sure. Okay. Hello. Ever, hello. Has anyone hey, gotten there? Tom. Adam. All right, Tom. Yay. Uh, I can't get on either. You can't? It won't let me let Jeff into the meeting. Reason. Maybe it's a good reason. <laughs> uh oh. Maybe we can get him to call in. Um, okay, so those are my only announcements. Um, okay. Steve wants to know if anyone else is missing their paycheck for playing the voting. Mine just barely got here, I think, a couple of days ago. I got mine, mine yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, I got mine yesterday too. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Still making money. Oh, Michelle is still waiting for yours? I'm still waiting for mine. Okay. Well, let us know if you don't get it in the next couple days. Chrissy? Yes. This is Matt. I told Randy Haverfield that we were having planning and zoning tonight, and he said that he has not been getting the links to the meeting. So, when you send out the links, you might make a note to make sure he gets the link as well. I failed miserably on this meeting. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. We forgive you. I was just letting you know. <laughs> In June, we won't have to think about it anymore. Yes. <clears throat> okay. So. so are there any other announcements, Christy? Nope. Okay, so approval of minutes. So we got emailed the April 14th minutes and we have the April 28th minutes on our in our packet. So we can, can we um, put them together as one motion? Or do you want them, us to do them separately? Probably two separate ones. Okay, all right. So we'll start with the April 14th minutes if anybody would like to make a motion or. 
Make a motion to approve the April 14th minutes. Second. Okay, it was a motion by Brett, and who seconded it? Matt. Matt, thank you. Any discussion? All those in favor, we're gonna go down the list. Steve. Yo. Michelle. Aye. Matt. Aye. Adam. Aye. Brett. Aye. Tom. Aye. Ron. Aye. And is Jeff on? I don't see him yet. Okay. So that carries, all right. So the April 14 minutes are approved and then we have the minutes from April 28th. Madam Chair, I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes for April 28th, 2020. Second. So just the opposite, motion by Matt and seconded by <laughs> Brett. <laughs> okay, all those in favor, Steve. Aye. Michelle. Aye. Matt. Aye. Adam. Aye. Brett. Aye. Tom. Aye. Ron. Aye. Okay. All right, those are approved as well. Okay, we have no report on council action, actions because he didn't get an invite, so he's not here to tell us anything. Um, Chrissy, do you ha know anything about the last council meeting that, that we need to know about? No. Okay. Like okay. So we have two business items and then a public hearing item that we need to just address at seven o'clock. Okay. Business item number one, the final plot approval for Lava Falls subdivision number one. Christy, I think you're it. <clears throat> okay. Give me just one second. I think Jeff is trying to get a hold of us. Okay. Maybe Brett can make a craft project for us. Yeah, you like my you like oh. my new office slash my wife's craft room. I, I do. I'm very jealous of her craft room. I think that Jeff might skip this. Just a second. Okay. <clears throat> Texting me. Okay, so you all see that? Nope. Yep. There it is. Okay. Uh, all right, great. Okay, thank you, Madam Chair and Commissioners. Um, Christy Watkins, Principal Planner for the City of Nampa. Um, the action requested from you tonight is recommendation of approval or denial of the proposed Lava Falls subdivision number one. This phase is comprised of 6.6 .6 acres proposed to be platted into 25 single family lots with two common lots located at 2718 East Locust Lane on the north side of Locust and west of Southside Boulevard. The property is zoned RP. Phase two of this sub will be to the north. There's an RA residential subdivision to the, or residential property, excuse me, to the east. RS6 residential properties to the south and Canyon County properties to the west. The annexation was approved in April of 2004. <coughs> the rezone to RP was approved in April of 2012. The preliminary flat and DA rescission were approved last December and January. If you remember in December when they brought this in, they submitted the final plats and the preliminary plat for your approval all at the same time. Yeah, uh, engineering required significant enough changes to the preliminary plat that you as a commission elected to hold the, hold the decision on the final plats until the preliminary plat met the engineering conditions. Within 10 days of the decision, the applicant submitted the revised preliminary plat to engineering and it was by engineering, allowing the applicant to move forward with the revised final plat submittal. Um, the findings in this case are that it is 
located within the city limits in an RP zone. It conforms to the approved revised preliminary flat layout and it conforms to the applicable subdivision and zoning standards for NAMPA. I didn't receive any comments by any department or the uh, public as of this staff report. Staff feels that it is appropriate for the commission to recommend approval of the final plat for Lava Falls subdivision number one to city council with the conditions as listed in the staff report and any other conditions that you see fit to impose tonight. I will stand for any questions. Anybody have any questions for Christy? Okay, no questions. Does anybody um, want to make a motion? Madam Chair, I will recommend, make a motion that we recommend for approval the final plat for Lava Falls subdivision number one at 2719 East Locust Lane for 25 buildable lots for Sawtooth Land Acquisition LLC with all conditions of staff. I'll second. Okay, motion by Brett, second by Adam. All those in favor, Steve. Aye. Michelle. Aye. Matt. Aye. Adam. Aye. Jeff. No, he's not coming. Okay, he's out of here. Brett. Aye. Tom. Aye. Ron. Aye. Okay, that carries. So that is uh, approved. We have a final plot approval for Lava Falls subdivision number two. Next, Christy. Okay. Thank you, Madam Chair and Commissioners. Um, the action requested from you tonight is a recommendation of approval or denial of the proposed Lava Falls subdivision number two. This phase is comprised of 5.72 acres proposed to be platted into 24 single family lots and one common lot located at 2718 East Locust Lane, the north side of Locust and west of Southside Boulevard. The property is zoned RP. Phase one of this sub will be to the south. There is an RA residential zoned property to the east and Canyon County residential properties on the north and west sides of this section. The history is the same as the previous application and as I noted in phase one. The findings of fact in this case are that it is located within the city limits in an RP zone. It conforms to the approved revised preliminary plat for Lava Falls subdivision and it conforms to the applicable subdivision and zoning standards for NAMPA. There were no other comments received at the time of the staff report. Staff feels that it is appropriate for the commission to recommend approval of the final plat for Lava Falls subdivision number two to city council with the conditions as listed in the staff report or any others that you'd like to add now. I will stand for any questions. Any questions for Christy on this one? Okay, I would entertain a motion on this one. Don't move. Close public hearing. <laughs> public hearing. Okay, so Steve has made a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second. Okay, Matt. So moved by Steve to accept with all conditions and Matt seconded. Okay, all those in favor, Steve? Aye. Michelle? Michelle? Matt? Aye. Yeah. Adam? Aye. Brett? Aye. Tom? Aye. Ron? Aye. Okay, that carries. So it says past seven o'clock, we have a one public hearing item for a zoning map amendment from RA to RS7 at 602 Chicago Street for Jonathan and Denise Smith. And it has been withdrawn by the applicant, so we will not be having a public hearing for that this evening. And with that, that ends our meeting for tonight, and we are adjourned. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a nice evening. Good night. Good night.